Hello oh, bitches, how guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'll be reacting to Dickinson Season 3, Episode 8. In the last episode, oh my god, we went back, wait, we went forward in time, we went to the future. Um, well, in Emily's head we did. And Vinny was with her and she learned a very valuable lesson that she has everything that she needs, aka Sue. Because Emily and Sue had a bit of an angsty discussion early at the beginning of the episode. And she was like, you know, I thought I was the only one, like blah blah blah, like she's feeling, like, because I can't, she, you know, she, she wants that to be together but like they can't but like you know she misses Emily and like she wants to be with her properly and it's it's all, all these emotions she's getting frustrated because she can't and then you know she feels betrayed because Emily you know sent their poem you know her poem to Sue to the other guy but Emily finally realized that she has everything that she wants which is Sue all along in the present so like now that she's realized I hope she goes and speaks to Sue and they can like finally like make up and reconcile please I need it um, and then Austin paid off some guy to pretend to be him, um, in the war because he got drafted, so I don't know what's gonna happen with that, and Henry is gonna steal some weapons, well, with, with the soldiers, they're gonna get some weapons, we're gonna steal them, so, like, I'm excited, but nervous, so, without further ado, let's just get right into episode 8, let's go. Already at Sue's house, I'm gonna die. Oh, damn it! I really thought it was Sue. Is Sue better be there? I swear to God, I will lose my crap if Sue is not there. I mean, don't speak in this moment. We go to the funeral together in honor of Fraser. Oh, Fraser's yeah, Fraser's funeral. He died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can mourn it myself. You know that if you're mm. not there, the whole town will be talking about that. You're actually just making this all about you. Can't you think of the family? I have my own family now. Oh, wow. Of course, Sue, she'll agree with me. I know it. Sue and I are prioritizing our own child now. Maybe if No, but like, okay. I know we're still on bad terms. We you know Austin and Edward are still on bad terms. But I feel like Austin isn't actually wrong. Like, Edward would try and spin some bullshit about Fraser or something. Like, you know, Bricky's going to pretend he knows him or something. Like, so I can understand. But... You know, I don't know. It's very complicated. The children of your teach them to protect their family's reputation oh, and show shit. up when it really matters. God, Emily, you're just like Dad. Oh, oh, girl. Run along and hold Dad's hand. Remember, you chose him after all. That's true. No, but seriously though, literally, let's let's talk about it for a second, because in season one, Emily was you know. As Austin said, unconventional. Like she was, it was she was all. She's a different person to what she is now. However, though, I feel like the only reason why she's sticking with her family is because now the war is here. We're in the civil war, and you know, so many loved ones are dying. Emily just doesn't want her family to die, so she wants to keep them as close as possible. Which I can understand, of course. But like, you know, Emily needs to wake up and see that her daddy's not a good guy. You know. Crazy. Nothing here. Can we please stop calling everything crazy? It's offensive. <laughs> Literally, there's nothing inside. That glory. A cannon? For me? Oh, he's back! He's back! He's just trying to honor you. Yeah, okay. That's the whole reason you went to the war, remember? You see, there's no hiding in war. You think you're facing an enemy when really you're facing yourself. Damn, so true. It's fine. No, it's really not fine, Emily. Out for the best. No, it hasn't, honey. I've learned a lot, actually. Sorry, I'm not sure I believe you. What do you mean? Yeah, literally. This hope of yours just rings a little false. As he was okay, T. Fraser. No, I'm glad. Call it out. I'm glad because maybe she'll listen to you, and she's apparently not listening to anybody else. Maybe she'll listen and she'll realize, you know, that Austin isn't the bad one, and he's doing what he has to do. I'm just saying. But like Fraser, even from beyond the grave, he brings the advice, King. Sorry that I ever doubted you. You are as union blooded as they come. Oh. And it pains me to think that anyone. Really? We're going to take out what we said back. Well, it makes one wonder why you ever left politics. Oh, I don't know about that. Hmm? Something to think about? Maybe he left politics because he's on the wrong side of fucking history. Maybe that's why, you know? I'm glad he left politics, because if he kept going, who the fuck knows what would happen, to be honest. Perhaps. Hey, good. I've never been more proud to be your daughter. 
It's all lies. It's all lies. I don't believe no one. Emily, wake up. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. Sorry. Oh my god, there she is. Why can't we talk to Sue? Emily, what are you waiting for? Go and see- I know it's a funeral, okay? But like, go and see her! Why? Why? Just see her. Speak to each other. I would like to submit something. Anonymously. Ooh, interesting, Susan. Yes, um... Could you step into the office? Come on. Okay, I'm officially concerned. Oh, apologies for the I want you to be the executor of my will. Me? Hello? You. What? I know. Someone who can carry out your wishes to the letter. Oh, no, see, that's, that's sus, right? Like, that's a little bit suspicious. Like, she's sound, obviously, you know, off sound mind, whatever. But, like, to carry out his last words or whatever he wants, like, to the letter. Like, that's a little bit... I'm stressed about that, because I don't trust him. Someone who, someone who you trust with your whole heart. Oh, Dad? One son at your service. Perhaps you never noticed him before. She looks really good with the top hat, I'll give her that. Yes, I, do. I mean, I'm glad that Emily is that person, like, but I'm scared. What if you, like, ask some shady shit? I don't know, like... I think it'll be okay, though, but... I just... Emily's getting more and more deeper, and, like... She's, she's pretty much not digging herself for grey a hole, but like the more that she, you know, is with her father, it's like, like girl, like he's the last person you need to get rid of, not rid of, but you need to be free of that because like her devotion to him is like is stronger now because of the war because she doesn't want to lose him. Which I could, and you know, he had his near death experience, which I understand, but like she's just, I don't know, it's just, it's it's a lot, you know. I it's, her struggle is just, you know. Then by investing in people. Not everything has to be a name on a building. This is true, I agree. I have to admit, I felt abandoned by this family as of late, but never by you. You've always been loyal to me. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Even though I've not always been worthy of it. That's exactly you, bit fucking trash. That's right. You have had to forgive me, and I want you to know that I will go to my deathbed grateful for that. All I want, all I've ever wanted, is to make you happy. Nothing will ever divide us. It won't. Yeah, it will. Something will happen. You watch. Something's gonna happen to divide. I don't know what's gonna happen, but something will happen to divide them, okay? Like, it's just interesting to see this turn of events for Emily, you know? And again, like, as I keep saying, she doesn't want to lose her family. Like, family's so important to her. Like, of course it is. But it's just, it's how far is it, will Emily, be, you know, how far she willing to go to keep turn a blind eye to the truth, you know, that Mr. Dickinson isn't the best. Like, he's done some shady shit. My son, William Austin Dickinson Esquire. Oh, shit. To Austin. He left it all to Austin after everything still. Damn. That's gonna hurt Emmy a little bit, because it's like, you know, after everything Austin's, you know, done and said like how can the dad leave all his entire estate and the house and everything to em you know to emily like i you'd assumed emily after what he said to her just before but to austin man and in the event of his death they shall be bequeathed to his son the oh my goodness oh my god Resident. see look at that face you see her shock emily's shocked she's like are you kidding me like, I, 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 I mean, am I surprised that he wants to leave it all to the men? Like, are we surprised? No, we're not. It'll unnamed could very well end up being your guardian one day. A guardian? How funny life is. That you're giving everything to Austin? Yes, yes. Just like that? Of course. Yes, see? Who else would it go to? To <laughs> Emily? To your other children? Vinny? Like, split it up? Like, Emily, this just proves to you what kind of man your father is. 
Like he he just did a whole speech to you about how you never left him. He felt so disconnected to the family, but Emily never gave up on him. He was she was always you know she, you were always there for him, and you know blah blah blah. And he'll carry that to his grave. Blah blah blah. And then he does this right after he just said the whole speech to you. Emily, honey, wake up! You need to realize your dad is is. Mm. If I left everything to my daughter. The bank would likely tear the will right up. They would think I was insane. Women can't own property. To do with how emotional they are. They simply can't be trusted to make their own decisions. What the fuck? That's why they need to be left in a man's care, if not my own, then Austin's in a to come. Oh, I hate I mean, this. You know, women are blessed. Not to have the burden of independence on your shoulders. Not to have the burden of independence? Is this is this for real? I know this is what it was like back then. Don't get me wrong. But just hearing it. You, when you hear it, you just realize how crazy and insane that is, right? Like, when you hear it from... When you, when you say you say you hear it, you're just like, what the fuck? Like, really? Like, the shit... The shit... Like, seriously. Like, to see... Like, you... Just hearing it just baffles me. I'm just like, wow. How lucky I am to have such an incredible man for a father. Yeah, ooh, tell him, let's go. A man let's of go. ambition, a man. Change the world. But the truth is. Come on, say it. Say it. You're nothing like that. Oh! <laughs> yes! Exactly, exactly. He's a coward. He. Look. He cannot change the world. He will make the world bad, more worse, if anything, to be honest. But you know what? I'm glad that now she's waking up and realizing shit. You are nothing but a scared sheep. <laughs> you have no power to change anything. You have no imagination. Oh, shit. And for that reason, no one will ever know or care who you were. Oh, <laughs> shit. I made a mistake. Yes. Austin was right about you. Oh! The tea has spilled. The tea is on the floor. I'm proud of her. Good for her. I mean, she took a while to realize, but... I'm proud of her. Well done, Emily. You finally saw the light. I was wrong. Oh, my gosh. Oh, how do you keep it all together? Yeah, she isn't. That's a Because thing. this world is so messed up, and honestly, I'm not sure I can do it anymore. What makes you think I have time for this? I mean, true. Betty, what's wrong? What's wrong is I just found out that apparently Henry is perfectly capable of writing letters, just not to his family. I know! Helen about to lose her father. No, I this is true. Like, oh, everything that she's gone through, she's waiting for his letter and waiting for his letter. He never writes. But he can write to the mailman or whoever the hell it was. Like, he he's it from whoever. Like, you know. But again, we know Henry's point of view because we know, but she doesn't know. He, 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 wants, the, he wants the family to forget him and move on because if he dies... It'll be less painful, he thinks. But, like, no, like, they're worried. And then she's pissed. I don't blame her because she's like, you know, he can write, but not to me. Like, she's fully pissed, rightfully so. I'd be angry too. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, write me a letter. Tell me. You know? But he thinks it's not going to matter because it's like, let, me, let them just move on without me. So you, you can't really be mad at Henry because you see, you, you know his point of view, but she doesn't. But, damn. He doesn't even care to an army approaching them and they don't even have guns. Oh, my God, I know. Pity. Well, so do now, I don't need your pity. Just come to a fight with my dad. Please. Yes. Well, I'm sorry. Your family is so busy destroying itself. The world has already destroyed mine. Mm. And you have to stay hopeful. Hope? Hope is a lie. I oh. believe you spend one day in my shoes. You'll understand that. Yeah, literally. Right. All the poems you want. It doesn't no, she. I'm. No, you don't. Betty's going off. I mean. Unfortunately, Emily's in the crossfire, but I mean, when you really, it's, when you think about it, like, Emily doesn't know what Betty's going through. Emily thinks she's so busy trying to keep her family together, she doesn't realize how many other families are apart because of the war. She's like, you know, out and, oh my god, you know, I had a fight with my dad, and Betty's like, are you kidding? Like, my husband is literally not coming back, I think. And like, 
there, you know, there's a confederate on their way, like, your problems aren't, yeah, they're, you know, your problems, but they're not, like, it's just, you, when you compare, it's like, and beta has gone off, she's angry, I don't blame her, but Emily doesn't understand what it's like for Betty, she doesn't get it, you know, and it's just, it's a lot, but, Oh, hope Edward Diggles make me cry. Oh my god, I need Henry to come back on again. I have but the power to kill. Oh my god, he is a soldier. Oh my god, that's a confederate. Oh my god. The power. No, I'm stressed! If Henry or any of them die, I'm not gonna be okay. Like, I'm not gonna be okay to understand me. Like, now, okay, they have weapons, but I'm fucking stressed. Like, I'm so stressed, man. But like the parallel of them running to the far in through the woods and then Emily running through as well, like and I, a bed. Is that Inferno? What is the fucking Hand in all hope and you find where true hope lies? What is the gate the to hell? Place you haven't looked. Darkest place of all. Yeah, hell. Are you ready? We're probably not gonna jump into hell! Literally, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Because they said that the die, you know, you gotta go to the pits of hell. Like, they said that in the last episode, didn't they? Surely not! Wait, where are we going? Literally, where are we going? Fraser? Was she strapped? Okay, maybe it's like her imagination again. Okay, obsessed with her outfit as usual. Like, I'm obsessed with the way her hair's done, the dress, I'm sorry, I'm obsessed. She just, Haley looks fantastic. Like, she can, I told you, she literally can wear anything and she'd look amazing. Like, there's nothing she couldn't wear that would make her look bad. Like, she would look good in anything. Like, I'm obsessed with her. What are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm trying to keep all of my husbands alive. Oh my god. Are you These serious? Are all of your husbands? To make me think about art and poetry and all of that garbage when I should have stayed focused on getting married. Oh my lord. I will burn them. That's all they're really good for. No! This is not- Please, stop! No, not- no, stop. no, no, no. Stop, stop ruining my chance at happiness. Oh, this is the Dickinson house, but it's like- Austin? What? Austin, where are you taking me? Sorry, Emily, but you're crazy. It's time for you to be locked up. What? Why? Damn, this whole scene is really, like, creepy. Like, the way they read, they, 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 like, done the house, like, in this, in, you know, hell way. And then, like, Austin with his hair slit. Like, damn! This whole sequence is actually really terrifying. Can't do it to anyone. Austin, that's not fair. You knew I loved Sue. Not like that, I didn't. Oh. Besides, you don't love Sue. You love writing poems about loving Sue. Oh, the shit. Poems are all you care about. That's not true. No, that's not true. Yes, Sue, it is. Sue. You know it is. Austin, I love Sue. And I love you. A tiny drop of poison. Each one slowly killing any hope we had of happiness. Oh my god. You destroyed me. Oh my god. What is happening? Lost my mommy. Will you feed me, Emily? <laughs> the fuck? This house of horror shit. I actually love it. But like, this house has a horror shit. Are you kidding? I, I know this is, like, not the time to say it, but, like, it looks, even though this is, like, hell, the whole sea scenery looks beautiful. The way they've done it, the outfits, like, the whole aesthetic of it, it's kind of beautiful, don't you reckon? Oh. Dad. Oh, my God. Okay, fair enough. No, 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 no. Emily. Is that Sue? Yeah, and now we can be together. No, but she looks good in the suit. Like, she looks good in the suit, though, hello. And that's like, oh, Susan, a la hunt! Ash, I mean, again, Ella can wear anything and she'd look amazing. So. It's my fault, it's my fault. No, she thinks it's her fault if he dies. It's not your fault. She has to stop blaming herself. Like, look at the, look at them. Like, look at them. And they're aesthetic in how I'm obsessed. It's perfect. Are we gonna dance? Stop it. Whatever's happening, I'm gonna lose my shit. Whatever's happening, I'm gonna lose my shit. Like, the, uh, like, bitch. Like, I just. I think I'm speechless. Like, look at them! Hold on. Sorry. 
No, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Right now! Look at that! Sorry. I always get like... When, you know, it's, when it's one of those moments and it's just like... It's just... It's... Oh my god! Please! They're just... They're feeding me before my main course meal when they actually reunite in real life. I'm just saying. Oh, go off. Go off. The way she just grabbed her arm, I'm weak. The lyrics to this song are like insane. Stop this immediately. Keep going. Oh, Lord Jesus! Are you fucking kidding? Listen, when I tell you, I'm gonna play this scene on repeat. I'ma play this scene. How did the guys handle this when this scene came out? Like, did y'all die? Because I feel like y'all would have died. <sighs> oh yes, honey. Like their chemistry together is actually ridiculous. I just need them to kiss, and I'll be happy at this point. Like, do it. Oh, oh my god. You don't even want to kiss me. No, of course I do. Of course I do. Do it. You're not attracted to me. Oh, why would you say that? You're putting words in my mouth. Let me put something else in there. Oh! <laughs> Susan! Susan! Okay! Alright, Sue, go <laughs> Let me put something else in there. Oh, I'm... <laughs> okay. Oh, get off me, Emily! Okay, moment's over. <laughs> Moments pass. Don't touch me ever again. Wow. I feel attacked. Sue, wait. Oh, death's coming to collect everybody. Oh my god, she's seeing there. Is she seeing. Is she like. Having a view, like, you're seeing their, like, the war, you know, the war, like, Henry and, and the Confederacy, she's seeing that? Like, is this actually happening really with Henry? And she's just, she's seeing it too? Henry! I'm stressed! I'm just saying, if Henry dies, I'm out. I'm out, bitch, I'm out, I'm out, if he dies, I'm out. I'm in Monjo here. Oh, no, no, no! I swear to God! If you kill this man, if you kill this man, I will never forget this show. I don't... I, I'm literally, like, my heart's like... Oh, oh my God, bitch! Come on, Henry! Oh, my God! Okay, okay, okay. The way you're, like, doing the angles and shit is stressing me the fuck out, okay? The way you're, like... With the darn bitch, like I'm so fucking. I swear to God, you kill Henry, I will. I'm not gonna be okay. Okay, are we okay now? Like a little bit. Did we win this a little, little, little battle, right? <sighs> Can I breathe now? Like I haven't breathed yet. <laughs> I need to breathe. Bitch, that was rough! That was rough, are you kidding? That episode, man, that was wild. Like, I really thought Emily and Sue were gonna speak this week, and I was like, you you would you think, because they're like, hi, hi, but it was actually Austin. But I feel like that's obviously gonna be either in the next episode or in the finale, I don't know, but like, you can't keep them apart for long, okay? But I feel like this was a very good character development episode again for Emily, because she's finally learned that Austin was right about their father, and that she was wrong, and she always time she was defending him and, you know, sticking up for him, and in reality, he wasn't going to give her a shit, and she's like, finally, I realise how what trash of a human he is, like, he, you know, she thinks, you know, her dad's going to make some big change, you know, the Dickinson name's going to be, uh, you know, change the world, whatever, but in reality, her dad is nothing but, like, a coward, really. Like, he's not going to do nothing. He's not doing anything to progress, you know, women's rights. Nothing. He wrote a thing on how other women's place in the world. Like, he wrote that bloody essay thing. Oh, you know, that essay thing. 
It's like a woman's place in the world or whatever it is. Like, really? And I'm finally, I'm glad she finally realized how trash he is. Like, he was going to leave, he, this man, did a whole spiel about, you know, how important Emily is to him, that she was the one who stuck by him, and who remembered this till, he's, till the day he dies, blah, blah, blah. And then the next sentence is like, I'm leaving everything to Austin and all the grandbaby, the grandson. Because, you know, why would I leave anything to a woman? Like, girl, I'm glad she has woken up and is like, the daddy's trash and now she needs to go find Austin and apologize to him so that they can reconcile. And like, man, just fucking hell, man. And then that whole last scene with the whole descent into hell or, you know, hell or he knew her imagination, whatever. But first of all, again, as I said, the whole way, the way it was done was gorgeous. It was beautiful. The set pieces, the way they redesigned the house to look, you know, it was great. It was scary. It was terrifying. It was beautifully done. Emily's, uh, sorry, Haley's acting in it, amazing. And then her getting to see, you know, Henry's fight with the Confederates, you know, Henry and the soldiers fight. I'm so glad they're still alive. Y'all really had me fucking stressed when the guy went with the dagger to, like, stab him and he moved that bitch. You had me stressed, okay? We still have two episodes left, but I'm stressed. Betty's breakdown to, to Emily. Like, Emily was just at the wrong place at the wrong time, and Betty honestly had to let her rage out, because she's fucking pissed. And again, if I was in her shoes, I would be too, you know? And Emily's like, you know, she gets upset about her, with, uh, you know, her and her dad had an argument, when Betty's literally wondering if her dad's ever coming, uh, sorry, her husband's ever coming back from war. And, you know, he didn't tell her, and she doesn't know why, but we know why Henry's doing it, but she doesn't know until she's pissed. And it's like, really, Emily's problems isn't that big compared to the civil war that's going on. Yeah, it's still important, but not as important as the whole war that's going on. It's going to shape, you know, the future of of the of America, you know. But holy shit, that was such an intense episode. I loved it, but it was friggin' intense. And the bird at the end, man, this episode, this show is fantastic. It's fantastic. Um, so I'm hoping in the next episode we get to see an Emily and Sue reconciliation and Emily and Austin. I would love it. Um, but that was my reaction to this week's, to this episode, episode 8. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. We have two episodes left and I'm not ready to deal with that. So we're going to not think about that yet. So anyways, guys, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys for the next one. I love you all and ciao for now. Bye, guys.